finally here, the fifth and last spacewalk of servicing Mission 4. When the day's over, NASA hopes to have a Hubble with some refurbished fine guidance sensors, another set of batteries, and three new protective panels to insulate the telescope. Oh, no, I'm coming out. Clear that down. All the battery connectors are teammated. The batteries that have been on Hubble have been on there for some 20 years now, and their capacity, their ability to, uh, to, to deliver power to the telescope has declined over the years. So we found it was important to, uh, to get a new set of batteries up there, get the capacity of the system back up, and ensure that we can be out there for at least meeting the five-year mission goal, and hopefully much longer than that. And just uh, tether tuck the connectors clear of the battery. All right, well, things right now are going very well there. Um, really ahead on the schedule. Uh, looks like they'll get everything done. So that's uh, that's very exciting. Really nice work on batteries, guys. Uh, Latin test is good, as you heard. So we're on our way here today. Uh, FGS is next. We're putting in a new refurbished FGS that was brought back from a previous mission. The fine guidance sensor actually uh, really works well with the control system <laughs> to um, hold the telescope very precise on an image so that we don't get blurred images. Ten last, but your goal for the other connectors. The sensor, the servo system has been degrading over the, the past few years because of an electrical component problem and it was slow, slowly dying essentially mm -hmm. so we had to replace this one. John's going to uh, try to use the EVA ratchet to break the torque on that handle bolt. Do you have an MTL setting for us? Oh, the fan uh, or the fan? Okay, break free. Come on, break free. It's either 23 or 38. Yeah, I think it's got to be 38. Thanks, John. Ah! Oh. Mm. Yeah. It'll, it'll come out smoothly when it takes it. I think you got it. Something happened? I think you got it. Good deal. Perfect. Perfect. All right. I am glad that everything went well with the FGS. Uh, we needed a good instrument on board and uh, this one here will last for a long time. Bay 5 on the telescope is where we have engineering equipment including the transmitter which sends the scientific data back to the ground. Uh, that equipment is running warm and in fact after this mission we're going to have more uh, data coming to the ground because of the new scientific instruments we just installed. When it runs warm we need to cool it off so it can continue to send that information down. Our main concern was really to make sure the crew was prepared to deal with it. You know, what, what happens if we see, you know, say a large piece of blanket coming off? You know, so we've trained them on what to expect. They know that it's going to look bad. They know that there may be big pieces of blanket. They're, they know there may be little pieces of blanket. To cool that bay, the astronauts are going to roll up the MLI that's currently on it. MLI? Multi-layer insulation. Mm -hmm. After they roll it up, they're going to have exposed bare aluminum. A bare aluminum is not good thermally in orbit, so they're going to cover it with something called a noble, new outer blanket layer, mm -hmm. and in the middle of the noble is a deployable panel exactly like this. So they're going to take this handle, flip it up, mm -hmm. exposing, oh, I'm sorry, exposing adhesive on the back side. Mm -hmm. They're then going to peel off a release liner, so having big 400 square inch piece of flypaper, yeah. that flypaper will then be folded back onto the telescope and then they will use a roller to roll the new radiator onto the telescope. The cover scares me. There's the cover floating around. The cover, the cover. Oh. 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 It's like, um, you know, a brush trying to get rid of a, a whole beach full of sand. <laughs> Holy cow. Every time you push on it, it's like, oh! Oh, oh my god. The old insulation on Bay 8 of uh, the Hubble Space Telescope, obviously uh, a bit more fragile than uh, that over the other uh, Bay 5 that was uh, swapped out just a few moments ago. Do they care that it's floating around out there? Oh, no. They can't do much about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, they do care, yeah. but yeah. we're, we're yeah. now done with all going into the 
telescope mm. the instrument, so the risk of the contamination into the instrument bay is gone. The only thing that's left now is for opening up the aperture, aperture door to the oh, telescope. Yeah. You don't want any of that <laughs> migrating into the telescope. So typically what they do at the end of the mission is we ask for a reboost mm -hmm. while the orbiter takes us out of that debris field. Okay. But as of this morning, they canceled that reboost, so they may be re-asking for it now, <laughs> I'm not sure. You know, all in all, for something that's been up there 19 plus years, it looks in pretty good shape. At least for the time being, we think it's the last EVA. Yeah, What's going through your mind? Well, there's joy because we got to have it all fixed and it's going to stay up there for, my opinion, another 10 years. But there's also sadness to see it go. You know, yeah, I've been on Hubble really my whole professional career, so this is really all I know. So it's, it's mixed emotions knowing that everything was completed successfully. <laughs> Uh, but it is also sad knowing that this is probably the last time we'll be up to see the Hubble.